I thought tonight um, Fairbanks was a team there in the Sweet 16 last year, Division Two. Quinn Bernard had played. That's how we knew about him. Really close with a, with a good friend of ours, and a really well coached team. They were missing two players tonight that are our high level players. Um, so uh, you know, but it's good to to be in Alaska Airlines Arena and playing. Um, and uh, I felt like last year when uh, the Seattle kids played in front of their parents for the first time, there was a lot of nerves and angst. I thought tonight, I thought, no, I was really proud of Noah Williams. That he did a really good job. I thought Corin did a good job coming in and playing. Um, and uh, 24 assists. You know, it wasn't perfect, but we shared the ball. Um, I was really happy with that. And I, I felt like we played really hard. Frank, okay. Yeah, he, he tweaked his ankle a little bit at the end, but he's a, he's a warrior, these guys. Every day with him and Braxton, it's like you're worried that uh, uh, something's going to happen just because they play so hard, uh, but really tough too. Hey, um, and I, you know, I asked uh, my guys this earlier, but uh, obviously it's just the, the one game, but how good can this defense be? It just seemed like you guys were you, you know what? We were flying around. Uh, we were disruptive. Um, I wasn't happy with the turnovers in the first half, but I, you know, there's a level of turnover. Our turnovers were trying to make the pass. It was a lob. It was a bad pass, but it was the right idea, and that's where it, yeah, I was. I was really excited about that. Um, having the rim protectors uh, changes the game. Um, we have length at every position, and we're going to utilize that. Um, a lot of people kept asking me, "Where was the zone? Where was the zone?" We've been. You know, we're going to use what's best for us uh, to win games. And uh, we've been practicing it. I thought we executed for the most part, you know, pretty good. And uh, we'll move forward. Hey, hey, do you still believe in the zone or do you not believe in the zone? Anymore? I believe in it. I think it's it's a, one of the best defenses out there. When you got, uh, you know, sometimes you got to be able to go out there and, and uh, mix it up a little bit and uh, show something different. And we've got the personnel to do it. And uh, I was really proud of their, their effort and the way that those guys came out and competed. And Cole Badgemore? Yeah, Cole, uh, Cole was, is, was out. Um, I don't even know what to call it. Or, you know. Huh? He's sick. Yeah, he's sick. Cole is sick. But, uh, you know, he'll be back. Uh, just couldn't be there tonight. It's just one of the big things I took. I know you like an eight man rotation. How are you going to do that? Have you figured that out yet? I have, <laughs> but you know what? Uh, exhibition games are great games to learn about your team, to play in front of fans for the first time, and um, and we put some guys in there, uh, you know, rotations, and give guys an opportunity to go out there and produce and play, and see what they could do. Um, we have a pretty good idea of, of our, our top eight guys, eight or nine. Um, and, uh, but we had a lot of contributors tonight and a lot of guys that if they just stay ready might have their opportunity. It's a long season, um, but I was really excited about their effort and their attitude. The uh, things that that starting lineup gives you um, is what uh, I, I, I don't know if most people would have outside, most people on the outside would have expected Braxton to like, be in there. So that starting five. Years. Braxton's played exceptionally well. Uh, Frank had missed four or five days. You know, they're both worthy. Like, and this is, I'm telling you, this is just the truth. We have eight starters. Like, literally on any given night, it could be a different guy. That's how, that's, that's what this team is. And uh, that's what's exciting is, is, you know, we could actually, when we make subs, get actually better in certain situations. Uh, and so that was, uh, that was a real positive takeaway for tonight. And then, how much fun is King out to just watch out there? I mean, like, I... You know, that the one time had seen him in practice, but to actually just see him out there, he's faster than even what I thought he was. Faster than a speeding bullet. The little kid. No, I know. Okay. You know, listen. He's a. Uh, you know, I was. I was. We've been trying to build our chemistry, for the most part. You know, we have talented people, and now you got to put them in the right spots and get them to buy into each other. And, and obviously, he is talented. I thought. I thought P.J. Fuller set the tone for the game. Um, I thought he dove on two loose balls. His defense was infectious. He made extra pass after extra pass. That's how we're going to win. Keon Minifield's obviously a really talented offensive player and has the ability to get into certain spots on the court. Um, but like you said, what you see, he was kind of born to dance. 
you know, like the guy who's, you know, like, do you ever take a dance lesson? No, I just, the music played and I just did it. And that's, he's just got an amazing ability. And uh, they're starting to really connect, and that's the fun thing to watch when guys are making the extra passes. We, had, we went through a period where we stopped uh, doing that, and that, that the result happened. But that positive energy, that ball was moving, and, uh, you know, I was really proud of that. Keon Brooks. Yeah, pretty talented player, you know. I just, you know, he's, a, he's an elite talent. He make, you know what, he makes the right play. He made a couple of really nice passes early. Um, you know, we got to find a couple other ways to uh, get him around. He's really good in the post, really good on the elbow. Uh, made an open three tonight. Um, he's definitely a go-to style of guy. Uh, we got to find ways because he can not only score, uh, but he has the ability to make others better. One last one. Yeah, we talked to Noah. You know, just this is the first time where he's point guard is his main responsibility. Just you know, how's he coming along? And, out of knowing he's going to be able to handle it. Ten assists and six steals. He's a winner. <coughs> Always has. That's what I loved about him. I hated coaching against him. He's a winner. He's tough. I thought he did a really good job of getting guys involved. He's, 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 him and PJ in the, in, the, in the backcourt defensively are pretty elite. Um, they have that kind of football defensive back mentality. They can, they can see things. They anticipate really well. They take a lot of pride in being here being at this great university and representing, you know, the city. Uh, they take a lot of pride in that. And you saw how that helped us last year. I'm so really excited about that. Um, and uh, obviously I have a lot of work to do. You know, we're not where we want to be, but the, we have the pieces. Uh, we just got to keep getting better every day, bottom line. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Right